Hello and welcome to my Autodesk Robot Structural Analysis tutorial. In today's tutorial, I will show you how to change the units for your project and how to change the building codes for your project as well. But before I begin this Robot Structural Analysis tutorial, I would like you to consider subscribing to this channel and checking out my Patreon account. The link is in the description box below. So without further ado, let's get started. So proceed to the Tools button over here and click on it and choose the job preferences option here and proceed to the units and formats option here so you can set the zero format over here you can put 0.0, .0 for example and you can automatically choose between metric or imperial units over here just from the click of a button but if you want to set things up more specifically click on this drop down button over here and i will go through each of these options one by one quickly so dimensions you can set the units for your structure dimensions section dimensions and so on you can choose different units for example you can have meters for the structure dimensions but for the details you can have them all in millimeters over here so if you typically work with metric units this would be the typical setup that you should have and for forces you will have kilonewtons over here for force typically if you're using SI units if not then you'll be using kip over here and moments is just by extension kilonewtons multiplied by meters over here and stresses is in megapascals over here and let's check out the other options over here. So you can change the units for displacement, rotation, temperature, weight, and mass over here. And typically, yeah, weight should be in newtons over here. And mass should be in kilograms. And let's move on to the final part, unit addition. So I can just leave it as is. Typically, it's already correct over here. So now let's move on to changing the building code settings in Robot Structural Analysis. So let's proceed to materials first. I will go through the materials section over here. So right now I'm using the British materials library over here. So the steel, concrete, aluminium, and timber would be based on the British standards over here in terms of the yield strength and so on. I will proceed to the design codes over here. So click on design codes over here. So once you've clicked on design codes over here, you will see quite a few options over here. So we have steel and aluminium structures. Right now we are using Eurocode free. And for steel connections, it's also Eurocode free. So I will show you how to change the building code for steel structures for example so click on this drop down button over here and you will see there are three options here you can choose bs5950 or 5950 semicolon 2000 over here but if you want more options you can click on more over here and this pop-up window will emerge so let's choose the AISC standard for example if I want to import this I just click on this arrow over here and click on OK and if I were to click on this drop down I can see the AISC standard over here so that's how you can change the design codes for a specific structure for example so now let's move on to the loads over here so we have three options here code combinations snow or wind loads and seismic loads so the principle is the same just click on this drop down arrow over here and click on more and you can choose from a wide variety of building codes from different nations depending on where you practice And if you notice, for the code combinations over here, there's a button over here with three dots. If you were to click on it, it will display a pop-up window with the safety factors for different load cases over here. And you can just click on X over here. 
So that's it for today's Autodesk Robot Structural Analysis tutorial. If you found it useful, like this tutorial, share this tutorial, and subscribe for more Autodesk or civil engineering related tutorials. Thanks for watching and goodbye.